All right. So as a part of the Matrix project, we uh, did two things. Uh, so the first thing was actually building uh, some boilerplate of a um, communication subsystem, then a, a plugin type, which is communication provider. And then on the continuity of that, we created a Matrix plugin because we want to integrate Matrix inside our communication system. So what this Matrix plugin currently does is it kind of works parallelly, into, into, integrates parallelly with the communication API and implements its own endpoints and stuff like that. So this is a very quick uh settings page which i don't think i should explain much but it just grabs all the information from matrix and the state of the play comes into when you go to the course so for example i have this part from showcase course and when i go to the settings i have a section called communication and when you have this disabled all the fields are gone and when you have this enabled you have the list of communication providers but at the moment we just have matrix um you just select the name of the room communication room and the name of the description um and then you save changes and things happen asynchronously uh, just just to give you a little bit of idea the ux is we're still improving the ux and robbie will give you more ideas about that um but yes the under the hood the process will be the same we're just going to change the user experience on that so for example yes we just grab all the information checkbox it and save changes it will go to the course without even doing anything else because th as i said things will happen asynchronously with the next run of the scheduled task uh, for demoing purpose i ran the scheduled task up front so that it's quick so as you can see there is a room created and it actually said the exact avatar i had from the course which was the course image as you can see here this is the exact course image which kind of looks like me a little um so yeah so things happened very quickly you can see with the run of the scheduled task it called all the api said the uh, i've said that everything like name topic uh, avatar and everything and also the team has done a great job so as a teacher for example i go to the co i go to the course um there will be a lot more uh, ux changes but at the moment you you will be able to access that uh, room from a course so if you click that button this tiny button you can see if you click that button that will take you to the matrix room straight away there will be a lot happen there's a lot happening and there will, a lot more will happen you will see a nice banner here and of course this user experiences will be improved but yeah uh, we so far we have the creation of the rooms and stuff and we have the matrix mock server using uh, to cover all of this work we are doing with unit testing and also team is working very hard to have all those user levels things where you add members to the room and then create members when needed so yeah there those things will come in this sprint slowly and shortly um that's a very quick demo i'm sorry if i'm quick i was quick but if you have any questions please feel free to reach out um just just let me know um, i'm in matrix mostly um so yeah just let me know if you have any questions my name's robbie i'm the ux designer for the uh, platform team um there's just a few things that i basically what safat's done uh but just more of a just some improvements and some shining of it that we're going to be um, implementing. Um, so we've got the user settings um, under the communication tab, um, and then there'll be a user to a pop-up and a call to action button. So if you could just go to the next slide. Um, and this is where I've been working with um, Julia on the uh, the UX copy. So we're just trying to get the the wording right. So it's it says all the the best information um, clearly and not confusingly. Um, so we're still uh, playing with that because we're still trying to figure out a few of the flows and a, a bit of the options. But um, that's basically one of the, the main changes here is that it will be under the settings in the courses. Um, and that's where you can enable the room. And then once the room's enabled, if you could go to the next slide, please. Um, so once you click um, save, it'll bump you back to um, this page. If and um, the, the blue pop-up will, will appear and that will let you know that the room will be ready soon. This is um, an important step because in some instances, them, it may take time for the um, all the information to be there to set up the room for uh, Matrix. So basically, we wanted to give the user an indication that this is happening. So then um, if you go to the next slide, um, once the user uh, clicks out and clicks back in, then the course um, user tour will pop up, letting them know that the the new uh, button is there, the new call to action. And then um, from there, it'll be available in the courses. Um, so there'll be 
this will be available in all the courses and you'll be able to that have been set up and you'll be able to see it while you're in the activities of that course as well so there's um, a few more iterations to go but overall it's it's looking in a good direction and um yeah as we get some information from uh research this will, might even take some stuff from what we're going to be learning with the notifications and implementing this as well as we go further to um, create a really good system here.